What's going on guys? Today we're going to be replacing the standard star ratchet setup that's in my DT Swiss 350 hub that came on my Roval Alpinist CL wheel set uh, with a 54 tooth star ratchet upgrade. Now this is the same for all 350 uh, hubs other than when you start getting into the higher end 240 uh, etc 180 hubs they use a different mechanism but for the standard 350 hub this guy will upgrade you to, uh, in a lot of cases, what's in the higher end wheel sets. So let's get this guy going. And what I'll do is I'll show you the hub uh, b before and after the upgrade. So I will uh, get the sound of the wheel and then show that after. Cut this guy open. Got a couple things here. So this is everything that comes in the kit. Nothing too crazy, a little thing of grease here. Uh, a couple new springs if you want to use them, and then the 54 tooth uh, star ratchet upgrade themselves. And when I say 54 teeth, so that means around these rings here, there's 54 different grooves. And I'll zoom in to show that a little better. So here we can see all the different grooves on that. That one's 54 teeth versus the stock one, I believe, like I said, is 36 or possibly 18. We'll find out as soon as I open this guy up. So let's get the uh, old star ratchet kit off here and uh, check it out. So these guys literally just come off with a pull, which should be pretty simple for most guys, just like that. And it's off, you can see the, the uh, ratchets there that are in there, as well as one of the springs, inside in, the old ratchets, like that. So I was correct, there is the 18 tooth star ratchet kit that was in there, so this is going to be uh, a nice little upgrade. Um, we're just going to grease these guys a little bit, throw them in the, uh, in the current setup. Depending on noise level, if you want to put more oil on it, it'll mute the hub a little bit. Or if you want it nice and loud, don't put any grease on it. Um, you don't actually require any on the ratchet engagement section itself. So it's kind of up to you. For me, I'll probably go somewhere in between. So we are putting these guys back in. Ratchet number one. Should just wait till it pops in. There we go, there's one. Ratchet numero two with the teeth facing in and then the spring itself. And then we're gonna put the cassette on, like so, and make sure that it engages. And that's the difference, all installed, ready to go. So this is the sound of the stock mechanism that's in the hub. Um, nothing fancy, I believe it's a 36 tooth, but could be the 18, we'll find out once we're inside it. So let's go ahead and spin this guy. And there we have it, just like that. We're all mounted up and ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll give you a little sound test here. Quite a bit louder. A lot more engagement. So that's quite nice. Well, that's it. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, catch you guys later.